welcome back to my channel today i am going to answer most asked questions on our trip to paris that we made about what two months ago or so and we went to hermes chanel and louis vuitton and gucci and dior those are the stores mainly went and yes big yes big damage <laughs> i made Anyways, if you watch my vlogs, Paris related and unboxing videos you guys have seen or if you read or commented on those videos, you know what I'm going to answer in this video. And if you're new to my channel, if this is your first time watching, welcome guys. I hope you guys enjoy watching this and also find it helpful and don't forget to subscribe before you leave this video. And also at the end of this video, I'm going to tell you the little story about how I got my wallet stolen, which happened five years ago. So that I have mentioned in one of the videos, Paris vlog, and some of you asked to say more about it. I'm going to answer that at the end of this video. So if you want to know it, stay tuned. And again, if you're new to my channel, don't get shot. Whenever I do like this, you will see my big belly. I am 33 weeks, almost 34 now, uh, weeks pregnant. So that's what happens when you're pregnant with that long. And let me address these three. As you can see in this video, I wanted to show you guys what I took with me to Paris because some of you are asking. This is the carry on that I brought with me. And this is the only bag I took because the awful experience that I had five years ago, I didn't want to take a chance. So I didn't carry like period, like nothing, no handbag while I was in Paris. So this one, I had it as my belongings when I went to Paris. So that's a Duval tote bag from Chanel. And this one, I believe this is 60 inch. I'll double check and I will link it down below. I got this from Nordstrom and I absolutely adore it. Very durable beautiful color of course pink i love it and chevron that's my favorite pattern so i love 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 and i have three different ones this is the biggest medium size and the smallest it comes with different colors check it down below i highly recommend very very durable and love it and it glides really well and it's got the lock system Anyhow, these are the ones I brought with me and my husband, I'll talk about it in a minute. And I screenshot your questions and also I took some notes so I don't forget what I wanted to answer you guys. So I'm gonna be looking down on my phone. And this is new case, isn't that pretty? It's shimmery and pink, yes. Perfect combination. The okay. first question that I got the most from you guys is how did I bring back everything I bought in Paris? So we brought two full-size luggages, this pink one and also another one with my husband. So those are the two that we checked in. And I had this Louis Vuitton luggage as carry-on and I had this Chanel de Voltaire as my belongings. My husband didn't have carry-on but he brought a backpack which fit quite a lot. A lot, yes. So how did I bring all the boxes and how I packed them? I mean, my husband and I knew I will buy many things. I show him the list of things I'm going to purchase and if they're available in Paris. So we knew we're gonna bring a lot back, but we didn't have to bring many things to Paris. So my husband mainly had his clothes and shoes in his backpack and the check-in luggage he took with him didn't have like pretty much empty. So this luggage, I brought my clothes and the shoes with me. And when we are coming back, two of those full-size luggages were the best thing that we brought with me because I put all the boxes that I got from purchasing those luxury goods, I stacked them all together and have the 
clothes all around the empty spaces. It's like the game Tetris, like stick them all together like a nesting doll. You just have to know how to do them, but it's pretty simple and easy if you really want to bring them you will figure out how to do it. I mean, some of you ask me questions like if I brought my luxury goods and check in luggages. No, 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 I will never do that or I don't even want to try because you just never know. So I didn't have any luxury goods and check in luggages, but carry on. This one had like a lot a lot of money in this luggage like mainly full of handbags and the shoes that i purchased and also this devol toe is pretty spacious so i stack them first tip sweaters and small clothes put them in your new purses so that way they maintain their shape you guys know we're still moving into this new house so everything is pretty much everywhere so i cannot find it but second tip to give you is to bring your own luggage scale to weight your luggages so you don't go over the weight limit depending on what class you're flying okay second most asked question how much did you pay for the costumes i'll say five to ten percent textiles fabric goods and leather can be as high as 18 percent you guys know the reason that I bought so many things in Paris, not just because I wanted to buy all of them, but also save money as it's a lot less pricey. Yes, compared to the US. So how much do I actually save after all? This was tricky and I was actually disappointed at the end when I was like calculating everything. Here, my experience. When I was in Paris in each store and I was kept thinking and calculating, okay, I'm gonna save this much on this thing I wanna get. And I kept adding 12% tax back that you're getting with just everything, right? In Paris. So I kept thinking 12%. So I'm adding 12% on top of how much ever I'm saving, like 15%, 20%, 30%, like each store has different percentage that you're saving. If it's 30%, like Louis Vuitton, you are saving like 42%. That is the yeah, crazy amount that you're saving, right? So I'm thinking of that, but I didn't really think that much about customs, right? That's the question you guys were asking. The average, I would say, you are saving 4% back on taxes. Everything came out almost around or average 6% we had to pay back. So like I'm saying, average 4% you're saving at the end. Of course, the prices are less. So if you're just talking about tax, yes, 4% average next question was did you mail them and ensure the packages and my answer is no 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 never i don't recommend and i will never do that just because you just never know if you mail your luxury goods you get stolen i mean the prices on these luxury goods of course, they are high and if you want to insure them, you have to pay a lot and um, you just don't want to take the chance and I just didn't care to do that. So I didn't mail any, none. But I know some people do and it works out. That's all good. Just me. I don't have that gut. I don't really. Yeah, I can't. And the repeating question that is very similar to the first question was, how could you bring all the bags and did you check in Lux Goods? I did not check in, like I said, and the answer that I wrote here, which had a carry on to store the goods. My husband had a backpack, like I said, that can pack quite a bit, but not too bulky to fit in the overhead beam. 
I brought my own luggage and mainly packed all new purchases with only dust bags covered. And I carried my Chanel Duval tote where I could fit small size handbags and shoes I purchased plus extra felt shopping bags I got from Chanel store which was to cover up the Chanel white shopping bags. You guys know the protesters were coming after those people who buy luxury goods. So I had to cover them. It was made with strong felt fabric. Actually, I have them, but again, I don't know where they went, but I let my husband carry one. I got two felt fabric in black so those were pretty strong and very rigid my husband only had backpacks so he could carry one more thing with him so i gave that shopping bag to my husband which had my birkin and many things in it like kind of stick them together but with my small clothes i could get around not to make the dent or misshape the handbags short break time i put on my new lipstick on which i had but i wanted to put it on again it's super moisturizing it's brand new and the packaging is very very pretty it's got the clear uh, top with the cc it's gorgeous the color name is emotion and it's just beautiful freshen up like wake you up type of color i love it it's very very moisturizing i'll link it down below with the name next to it okay let's move on when you go through customs do you have to pay tax yes if you declare okay with our own experience five years ago with our fifth year anniversary i bought many things a lot less than this time but i purchased many things at that time so we went through the same thing and we knew how long it's gonna take this time my husband wrote down every single piece of item that i purchased on a piece of paper the name brand what it is what kind and the price the total price so he went through everything and lengthy paper and when we handed to the customs officer he had to look up each item's tax rate so what he did was he went back to the room and he brought a thick giant book with him and he sat down and went through each item that was on the piece of paper that my husband wrote and he went through and oh my goodness hours seriously yes hours and there was a long line behind us and yeah they were just kept waiting and nobody could say anything right you cannot rush you just have to wait there and it was so quiet okay now you may be questioning or thinking can you just not declare what you bought and can you just pass it's all up to you i mean you can risk it but not declaring items if you get caught they can fine you up to six yes six times the purchase price or you can forfeit the items it's all up to your choice yes and my husband and i are the people who don't like to risk so of course we wrote down seriously every single item even my husband's tie i mean yeah a lot less than other items but we wrote down everything and we did it because our friend hey Robin she told me to go through all that and her husband did the same thing and also what we you know read and the reviews on the customs tags um people had experiences they had to forfeit their the things that they purchased yeah on their trip that's just 
crazy. I just couldn't imagine doing that. Okay, one thing that was interesting to me was our customs officer didn't even take a look at our luggages. He didn't even care to see the actual item. We brought our receipts with us in a envelope and we show everything and also the paper my husband wrote down it's like he trusted us like right away and yeah he didn't care to open the bags and take a look at the goods at all so next to us i watched over and the customs officer examined their luggages and made them open everything with packages so they had to open them up and take them out from the dust bag and the officer was just checking just everywhere and inside also if they hit it i mean yeah it's really like up to you like if you declare or not but also depending on who you get some officers don't care to look at the items but some like next to us want to see everything his face was like so like angry type of face like scary but ours were like chatting with us like casually but of course we wrote down everything i don't know if he could kind of read us or he could tell that we were very honest with our purchases i have no idea but I'm just telling you, it's all up to you. You choose what you want to do. You can declare, you don't have to. They will find you if you get caught. The wallet that I got stolen was Louis Vuitton multi clay, multi uh, zippy wallet. Yes, so it was beautiful in noir. So I happened to buy exact same wallet after I got back from Paris because I missed it so much and that was my favorite wallet at the time so anyways okay my husband made the plan and he thought it's gonna be easy to use the subway I say no 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 for subway a lot a lot of pickpocketers they are in the subway or on the subway or whatever it is around the subway do not go to subway i say because it was crazy the one who stole my wallet was super quick i mean of course you have to be expert at stealing that's why they could survive i guess with that but it was just so scary i mean it was crazy my husband took a suitcase with him to check on something i don't remember exactly but i was by myself and i had eva clutch that may be i still remember it exactly well i mean handbag that i had i had that crossbody i thought crossbody as you cannot pull it easily so i just didn't even think about the zipper easy to open up anyways i had it on my front area of my body so i thought i was secure i knew i could get things stolen but i really didn't think that someone will steal out of my crossbody small handbag and i had it very close to me and right in front of me so yeah didn't even think much but then one person i didn't see the face i didn't see nothing i was actually really tired that was the first day we just arrived of course that's why i'm saying luggage my husband had it this guy just bumped like i wouldn't say touch me but he didn't hit me but just like I don't know how do you say this like he bumped on me i think maybe two or three seconds that took for him to open 
the handbag with that top zipper. You guys know Eva Clutch that's discontinued from Louis Vuitton and it's got the zipper on top, which is really smooth. Um, and you can just put anything, belongings. It looks similar to favorite that I have, but it's not like flap opening. Anyways, that guy opened the zipper on top and grabbed my wallet. That's it. And I couldn't, of course, tell. So I didn't check or I didn't see or I didn't even think. I could not even guess. Zero. So, but I had a feeling that was strange that he bumped on me because it was not like tight or small area that he had to bump or he had to go through me. So I just had a like thought like just a second, you know, but then I just let it be or I didn't even really think any, you know. And then later on after, I don't know, maybe one hour later, I had to get something out of my handbag. Voila, I realized the wallet was gone. It was gone. And then my husband called around, but of course it was gone and they couldn't find my wallet. And yeah, gone. It was horrible. Thank goodness I was not pregnant. So of course this time when I went, I didn't want anyone to just target me or know that I am like wearing something or whatever they can steal out of me. So I didn't bring a handbag with me. That's the only one I brought just to carry with me to carry things out of Paris and you know, come back to the US. But anyways, that was it. That's my experience. I mean, who knew you shouldn't bring crossbody, <laughs> small handbag. That's what I normally bring, right? I mean, that wallet was, yeah. Anyways, that's my story. And if you have any more questions, if you like to know, like you think I know or I can answer, please let me know in the comment section down below. I hope this video was helpful and informative. Thank you so much for watching again and I'll get back with you in my next video. Bye guys. Have a lovely day. Bye guys. And if you haven't check my giveaway video. It's still open and it's open internationally. So I'll link it also down below as well as everything that I'm wearing. I normally link. Yes, I still get comment like, where did I get it? What brands are they? Check down below guys. I'll let you guys go here. Bye.